Magic Mysticism and Modern Medicine, Journal of a Family Physician, Irving Oil, page 97, Moscow. Report of Physicist Victor Adamenko. In telekinetic experiments with Kulaguna, electrostatic fields were noted. Quote, it seemed as if unknown forces were at work. End quote. Ability to move material objects with electrostatic forces was of greater interest to physicists than to uh, psychologists. A needle weighing one gram was balanced on a pivot and placed under glass, and Kulaguna Kula Kula was able to generate enough electrostatic force to deflect the needle. It seemed easier for her to move objects when they when they were under a plastic shield and it seemed that she was able to create an elect electrically charged field around the objects. This phenomenon occurs spontaneously during electrical storms. Arrangements were made to telecast the phenomenon, but the cameraman freaks and refuses to film the experiment. An example of a phys physical phenomenon with psychological results, it is possible to train the operator in PK. Quote, just as we train sportsmen, end quote. What are the possible mechanisms? It seems that by an act of will, it is possible to change the electrical potential at the points of acupuncture. This results in a change in the electrical structure of the entire field. Quote, an electric charge can be transferred at will from the acupuncture point to the surface of the object. End quote. This is responsible for the movement imparted to the test objects. Physiological, physiologic parameters of the operator were studied before and after the experiment. Heart rate accelerated. EKG showed uh, ar arrhythmia, cardiac. This limited the time of any PK performance to 30 seconds. Curlian photos of acupuncture points of her palms in resting state showed multicolored sunburst patterns when she thinks about moving objects objects pattern changes to round regular circle of light r around the fingerprints fingertips the height of the emission decreased, which points to a decrease in the energy field. The blue-green color noted at rest changed to a splotchy red in areas where the operator imagines moving the object. The energy uh, quantum in the fingertip corona has been decreased and changed in character. This indicates a change in potential uh, potential between the fingertips of the operator and the test object. The operator converts psychic tension into electrostatic energy. This changes the surface of the test object and causes it to move. Several different objects were used with variable results. Some objects were able to move 10 gram objects. It is interesting to note that performance improves with practice. If two objects are placed in close proximity, she can move either one at will and leave the other stationary. An electric potential of 10,000 volts per centimeter is recorded between hand and object. Here's a picture, curly and photo, uh, emanation of energy from human finger.
conversation in tourist hotel lobby. Check physicist. Check physicist. Check physicist. The aerogram showed these light pro projections from the human body about an inch or so above the skin. British mind dynamics magnet. That's the aura. Check physicist. We haven't proved that this is the aura, but it would be a reasonable assumption. British mind dynamics mag magnet. The theosoph theosophists teach the theosophists teach that man emulates four physical bodies the physical flesh body the mental body of a finer nature still physical the emotional body and the spiritual body which is the finest of all now when we photograph this thing we are just photographing some other aspect of the physical form which has nothing to do with the mind or the emotion of the spirit just some energy emanating from the physical are we kidding ourselves a lot of people are saying that this curlian fo photography is not photography f is not photographing the mind or the emotion or the spirit check physicist we are not we are not able to disprove that it is a physical thing, but it is very difficult to explain all other data on the basis of this hypothesis. A healer was healing a, a whim, a lamp, lump of old cells on the skin. The healer states, and again, we can't prove this, that he was sticking his nails into the acupuncture point of, in the skin instead of the needles. The next day, the wind was gone. So it looks like the healing was effective, probably through acupuncture. Here is a picture of the energy. He shows a Korean photo of the healer's finger, fingertips with the orange and blue corona. It was taken at the moment of healing. He describes the apparatus. We have a box built in Czechoslovakia. On top of it is this big copper plate. The circuitry generates 40,000 volts in this copper plate. This is in a photographic dark room with the hands of the healer placed on a photographic plate the plate is opened in the dark and the fingers of the healer is pressed onto the film the 40000 volts goes through the hand down to the legs and into the ground and the amperage is uh, minuscule the conversation drifts to uh, psychokinetic phenomenon quote we have re recorded an energy potential of 2 million volts between the lips of a young married couple kissing. Again, no amps. We are dealing with extremely high voltages. If you want to get energy out of the system, you have to transform down to lower voltages, and then you will get kinetic energy output on the, on the other end, amps. If, for instance, we transform 2000 volts down to 2 volts, we receive an energy flow of 4 amps. You can feel this. The healer feels it in his fingertips. There is actual radiation of energy, for this is a ph physical phenomenon. It is like making a car go. In this major function, in this major function, are many little functions like turning the ignition key creating a spark transferring the power to the wheels etc many minor functions go into making up the main function of imparting kinetic energy to the car our bodies are the same we have many fine functions and these go into lower and lower frequencies and all of all of a sudden the body wa walks this is all one as soon as you start separating, you are lost. You must accept wholeness, not separation, the unity. 
everything works as a wholeness and not as separated parts british met dynamics maglet magnet as i see it you can say either everything is physical or everything is spiritual it doesn't matter it's all the one substance just vibrating at different rates there's only one substance you see in different manifestations words are so limiting here a german engineer you can buy these machines on the open market in america the Cur curlian photo device it is more a pseudo curlian device is a beauty electro electrolysis machine it is used to take out the hair on the face of a woman and it makes 20,000 volts in the treatment rod you you connect the wire to a copper plate from this rod in in a dark room and lay polaroid color film on the plate press the finger onto the film and run the current for 60 seconds check physicist you can run the wire from the rod to the metal polaroid color pack take the pack off the camera expose it to the current put it back in the camera pull over the ro rollers and there you have the picture this bioplasmic energy which is being photographed is the ground substance of the cosmos it is pure vibration which which by lowering its frequency becomes the entire electromagnetic spectrum and by lowering it still further becomes matter check physicist physically speaking you cannot receive any frequency unless you are attuned to it you can't get an fm station on an am radio receiver the whole question revolves down to what you got uh, that you can receive if you can alter the frequency of your receiving organism you can get interesting results the higher the frequency you tune to the finer are your results the frequencies manifest by the vibrating bioplasmic energy are endless there are those who say that we can we can that we have seven sub bodies with fine finer and finest vibrating rates i believe this to be incorrect it is like looking through an electron microscope the further you magnify the more there is to see it is infinite when we speak of frequency we imply different dimensions of reality that jar jar rep represents a frequency rate which we call the world of atoms and matter in any case we no longer recognize the concept of physical things materialization can take place under certain conditions but even in the material state everything is a manifestation of this energy this force this concept of separating existing material things is an illusion the smallest particle of ultimate reality seems to be vibrating between energy and matter it is called a wavicle part wave and part particle in terms of matter it vibrates between existing and non-existence now you see it now you don't force and form are the two ultimates all existence vibrates between these two poles the russian showed dr till tiller a leaf with which had been cut in half curlian photos of the leaf that showed that showed the half which had been cut away maintained this original shape in the curlian photos even though it was no longer physical physically present dr tiller believes that this only occurs at certain frequencies at the harmonics american professor of engineering it stands to reason you're basically light lighting up an energy like lighting a light bulb if you hit it with the right amount of energy it lights up you are talking about an energy envelope which exists whether the physical physical piece is there or not at the right level you light up the bulb and you see the uh, 
filament. This is an analogy which makes sense. American doctor. Another analogy would be phantom pain, where you get strong impulses for an amputated limb. Engineering professor. Exactly. Because the energy enveloped is still there, isn't this an energy transmission? A pain is, is a communication, apparently from the envelope. When you speak of communication, that puts us back on a common basis, which we can then use. Czech physicist. In our country, we are interested in pro, uh, potential uses for this energy. It is differently, uh, differently, definitely different and infinitely more powerful than elect electricity. If we had the proper tools, we could measure the amount of energy required for a plant to grow one inch. We could measure the energy frequency of an insect. We believe this is the energy which was harnessed by the pyramids. It is a newly discovered energy source, the energy of the universe. It is radiated to us by the sun and stars. Our bodies absorb it like a sponge and we then transform it into a, su a suitable frequency so that it works. This may sound strange, but I even heard a yogi say this. The chakras are involved in this. American doctor, out of sight. Czech physicist, the energy was always there 2,000, 100,000 years ago. Like electricity, it was always there. The problem is to concentrate it, direct it. We don't produce electricity. We concentrate something which was always there. Look, we can get power from a vacuum because air likes to rush into it. An electric generator is nothing but a vacuum machine. The electricity which is bound likes to become free again, and it can do this by passing through a motor, an electric motor. This is a energy system. If we could do this with the energy which comes from the stars, use it like we use electricity, we could measure the frequencies of stones, plants, or anything you like. You could measure the pulse of a fly. It would then become clear that our bodies are structurally and functionally. St bodies are structurally and functionally. The Czech people realize that electricity is a limited source of power. You cannot use it for everything. You cannot use it for growth. But think of the power of growth. American doctor. Growth is an energy transformation. We transform the energy of the sun into photo, uh, protoplasm, into the matter of our physical bodies, so to speak. Check physicists. There are billions of stars out there, and they, are radiate, they all radiate energy. Let us assume that our physical body, let us assume that our physical body as we see it has seven finer bodies. The finest body has the same frequency as do the stars. That is what connects us to the cosmos. We absorb the energy when we attract it by vibrating at the same frequency. Then we transform it. British Met Dynamics mag Magnet. Did you say we had seven bodies? Check physicist. In our sun system, everything is in terms of seven. There are there are other sun system systems the factor is 12 in, in many of them in music if the tone is not in harmony with the one in a higher octave you get this uh, dissonance which has destructive effect british met dynamics magnet i don't understand that check physicist this harmony creates waves of destruction destructive nature American doctor, disharmony, disharmony destroys the form and releases the energy. Cosmic force becomes molded into form, which, is, which it must destroy in order to create new forms. Check physicist, like fire in which the trapped energy becomes free again. Someone mentioned 
work in Italy where they are photographing photographing thoughts and taking pictures of the past the work is highly secret because they are on the verge of fulfillment and do not want to arouse uh, premature pub publicity an English lady states that she can believe she can believe anything but that she is advised that it is not a matter of belief but one of the one of investigation to determine the truth it is suggested that if consciousness is sufficiently expanded the past and the future are seen to be functions of the present extensions of the present instead which contains all time if we can if we can get above our three-dimensional finite body and mind like in an airplane we can see past present and future at the same time the ancient ancient prophets went back into their minds at night so they could see into the future they understood there is only one time and that is the now english lady i don't i don't doubt that they can see into the future I just don't think one can photograph the future british mind dynamics magnet what's the difference if you can see into the future you can't why can't you photograph it english lady i can't imagine how they would actually do it check physicist on what does the future depend this involves the concept of karma a thought is a living substance maybe thousands are produced each minute each has its own existence and creates its own reality in time the future is born at the same instant as the thought american doctor thoughts program the bio computer the bio computer projects the hologram we call reality whatever series or arrangements we make with our thoughts actually create the hologram reality it manifests faithfully like protoplasma manifesting the dna code in genetics the biocomputer is the brain and the printout is on the consciousness check physicist from the beginning to end we are creators that is our god-like aspect we need this understanding in order to achieve perfection in our creations this is where we are leaning this is why we are here american engineering professor do we create or do we reflect a creative energy check physicist if we create in ignorance then we suffer through illness accidents and so forth thought forms always crystallize into our experience this is a cosmic law british mind dynamics magnet magnet i certainly agree with that we are a creative force we do it with the power of our minds to make images those images become reality so we can create anything we want actually through the force of our own imagination 